this first calculator question asked me to find the area between these two graphs. You can see I graphed both of them on my uh, in my y equals screen. Uh, this one is cosine, or sorry, yeah, this one's two cosine x, and this one is x squared. Um, the area that I'm looking for is um, that area in there. So what I need to do is find the red intersection and the green intersection. I go uh, into my calc menu and calculate the intersect. The uh, red intersection gives me an x value of negative 1.02169. I would actually store that into my calculator. Um, you can do that by calculating the intersection, then going to your main screen and actually pulling up the letter, the letter x and hitting enter and then that will give you the full version of that so we get negative 1.02169 and then I would store that as A I would store it as alpha A so you do that um, then I need to uh, calculate the we'll do we're gonna do uh, this is my top in black and my bottom in blue so I'm going to do uh, integral from, just going to call this A because, you know, that's what I just said it is, right? So we stored that as A in our calculator. Um, actually, mm, I'm just going to write it because that's the way we should probably do it on the AP test. 1.02 to 1.022 of um, the blue, I do top minus bottom, so top is uh, black, which is cos 2 cosine x, minus the uh, bottom is x squared dx, and I'm going to use fn int. If you have the new operating system, it should be pretty easy to figure out uh, where you're putting all these pieces down below, but this is exactly what I'm going to type into my calculator um, if I've got these guys in here as y1 and y2. Um, real quick comment, to get this window right here, I did a zoom trig, which is zoom 7, and then I zoomed in a little bit based on just like, all right, I can go to negative 2 to 2 from whatever, these guys, and get a decent little window. Anyway, um, so having these guys in my calculator, I don't want to have to like retype it all over again when I'm doing my fn int. So I do fn int, I do y1 minus y2, because that's this, which is this, minus that, which is that. And then, as I said, we stored this into our a, right? So from minus a to a, right? And then that winds up giving me my answer of uh, 2.7009. Um, one comment, if you, you absolutely must have this notation on your paper, if you just write something like this, you won't get credit for it. Um, you need to, you can't use calculator speak. You have to use math speak. This doesn't make sense. It's fine if you want to use it as supporting evidence for what you typed into your calculator, to evaluate this right here, but just writing this alone will not get you credit for the integral side of things. And the reason I do that is because that's the way AP, the AP does it, right? Um, so show me this, and then it doesn't hurt, especially if you're using the old operating system, in case you make a mistake for me, to show this as well, because then I can see, oh, he messed up or she messed up with this little spot where, right? But anyway, um, have to have this doesn't hurt to write this. It's good to come with this, but if you only write this, you won't get credit for that part of it.